Sagittarius, welcome to your June 15th through the 31st of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I, am pre I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I do want to let you know before we get started with your reading that I do offer private readings. In the description box below, I have um, a link to my website and there's two different pages there's the shop now page which offers um, less expensive readings and once you purchase those I make a custom video for you and I upload it to YouTube unlisted which means that you can only view it if you have the direct link and then um, I usually get those done within 48 hours if it does take longer I would email you and let you know and then I send you the direct link and that's yours forever um, and also there's a book now feature so instead of shop now if you click on book now you can book me for a live Skype call where we can talk one-on-one -on -one, um, just like on the phone but we can see each other it's you know Skype we can video call and uh, whenever you click on that you can book a time and date now they are more expensive whenever you book now because it is a live one-on-one uh, -on -one call uh, through Skype. So that's really cool that I have that available. So let's get started on your reading. What is the central theme of Sagittarius's reading? What is the central theme of Sagittarius's reading? Central theme of Sagittarius's reading. Okay, so I have indecision. It looks like you have two different paths to go down and you're indecisive about which one to choose. So we have indecision here. Oh, and we have the third chakra, Archangel Sham Shamiel, which means that you're having issues with your solar plexus. You need to eat more ginger, drink lemon water, get out in the sunshine, get out in nature. Uh, this is the seed of your motivation and willpower. Right, and then I have two decks put together. I feel like it gives a better reading. Um, I do read reversals, so for every card, there's four different options of how it can come out. If something comes out twice, it adds extra significance to that particular card. And we're going to be doing a Romney Gypsy spread, but it's a little bit different. Um, there is a variation of that. So uh, I need three cards for Sagittarius's current state of mind, please. All right, so there's a transition. I have the six six of swords in the upright um, so there's moving away from conflict distancing yourself from a bad situation escaping an abusive situation returning to life after trauma there's a rite of passage a regretful but necessary transition this is the card of Aquarius so it's bringing that Aquarius energy this is being very emotionally detached being unconventional um, being freedom loving, free thinking, revolutionary, uh, independent, unconventional. And this is air energy. So this is the winds of change. So this is ushering in the winds of change. This is all about action, ideas, motion, communication. This, this is adventure. This is um, being very calculated, analytical, open minded. Um, headstrong, liberated, free, aloof, aloof, emotionally aloof, chill, frigid, so that you're, you're heading towards the future. You have painful lessons behind you. You still have painful lessons in the future, but you're, you're on this rite of passage and, um, you're heading straight towards the future and you're not afraid. Right. So, what else is going on in all right so I have the lovers reverse so there could have been a separation uh, this is the card of Gemini so again we have this air energy the winds of change um, this is communication breakdowns wrong messages sex is used as a weapon infidelity jealousy uh, separation divorce low self-esteem lack of self-love disagreements it's not the right time to move forward so you're heading you're leaving painful lessons behind you and you're heading straight for um, like 
just communication breakdown, a divorce, a separation, uh, not being yourself. Again, we're still in that wind of change energy, that action energy, that air energy. All right. And then we have Pisces. <clears throat> we have Pisces. We have the hanged man and he's in the upright. So there's um, a surrender here, a sacrifice, putting your life on hold. No matter what you do, it doesn't seem like it's working out. Uh, going within, not struggling, withdrawing, developing yourself, getting a different and deeper perspective. Uh, it's a very emotional energy, very intuitive, using your gut feeling. Um, it's escaping by fantasy, withdrawing into isolation. Um, personal sacrifices being compassionate, being overly sensitive, feeling vulnerable. Right. Um, so what's going to help Sagittarius moving forward? What's going to, three cards to help Sagittarius moving forward. I have two. So I have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is like very greedy, money mad, out of date, self-centered, a poor housekeeper, very envious, jealous, out of touch with reality, child ne neglect, emotional and environmental abuse, a slob, uh, poverty, um, a wicked witch. This is Capricorn energy. So it's like a social climber. And then we have the chariot in reverse. So this is a major life event. This is cancer energy. Um, this is a loss of control, lack of direction, giving up, letting go, wearing a mask to hide your emotions, um, overreactions, being overly emotional, being manipulative, uh, touchy-feely. Um, being stuck in the past, being impressionable and gullible, needing security, needing protection, being very needy and clingy. What else is going to help Sagittarius? All right, we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. They're spying behavior. Um, being rude, malicious gossip, uh, slander, being misunderstood, paranoid, um, psychological abuse. So what's going to help you is understanding that there's somebody in your midst, or this could be you, that is being very highly manipulative, is just completely a horrible person, and you need to get rid of them you need to get them out of your life <laughs> the whoever this is it, they need to go um i mean that's just absolutely horrible so you're gaining perspective you're on this rite of passage and you're see you're you're seeing this you need to use your gut to really bring forth this into like shed light onto this um, beware of car problems at this time. There's malicious gossip. There's people in your circle that are just really mean and nasty. There's illusions, delusions here. There's karma. There's karma, and there's a lot of gossip here. Um, all, all those cards are the cards of gossip, um, talking behind your back. What's going on with Sagittarius's family and home? Three cards for Sagittarius's family and home. All right, so I have the Six of Wands in the upright. Um, this is a card of Leo. This is success, victory. This is a parade. You are the winner. Strong leadership skills determination, receiving re awards, being recognized. You should be proud of yourself. Uh, you're leading the way while others are following. There's great news all together in terms of your family and home.
the Three of Swords, there could be some deep sadness, trauma, vicious arguments, hurtful words, love triangles, divorce, betrayal. There's a need to communicate here and there's heartbreak. That's air energy. That's Libra energy. Libra is very diplomatic. It's, it's, uh, doesn't take sides. It's very fair and partner oriented, very flirtatious and charming and balanced. So that's the card of Libra. All right, so then I have the shadow side, which is also the card of the devil. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, this is Capricorn. This is Capricorn energy. This is toxic. This is an abusive relationship. Uh, this is addiction. This is temptation. Disregard for consequences. Lies. Um, sexual perversions. Drugs. Um, externalizing your power, guilt, obsession. The Ten of Wands reversed. Um, so there's taking on too much. There's a lack of direction here. And then I have Karma. So there's a final outcome, a judgment. You're unable to hide things. Um, everything's coming to light. If you were trying to hide anything, you have to account for your actions with the karma card. So I see you starting out with this public recognition, this victory, being very, um, very theatrical and dramatic. And you're coming in and there's a short term parade. You can't rest on your laurels. And then I see, and that's the card of um, Leo. And then we have the Three of Swords, which is Libra, and there's heartbreak here, uh, deep sadness, and there's a, an abusive relationship, there's toxicity, there's addictions, there's sexual perversion, there's mean-spiritedness, uh, very cold, there's a lot of lies and deceit. And then we have the Ten of Wands reversed. So you're taking on too much. You feel very burdened by this, like you can't move on. And then we have Karma, which is the final outcome. And that's the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, the work's done, taking a break. Um, Financial insecurity, abuse, shabby workmanship, bad investments, couch potato, laziness. I keep getting laziness for Sag. I don't get that for any other sign, but you keep getting all the cards for laziness. I have the Queen of Cups here. So this is all about emotions. And this is uh, happiness, sensitive, a healer, beauty, uh, kind, listening, meditation, taking a trip. It's cancer energy. It's being very nurturing and emotional. And then I have the magician reverse. And this is a major life event. This is weak, powerless, lack of self-discipline, lack of qualifications, um, doesn't have the resources. Uh, delusional, trickster, charlatan, liar, thief, bully, con man, know-it-all, um, impatient, lack of confidence, communication problems, and that's Virgo energy. So all in all, I'm seeing a lot of communication problems. You come in your, both of these are like a transition. There's movement here. So the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands, there's movement. Six are all about growth. Um, a lot of sixes are, and we have the Lovers, which is also six. Three of Swords, which goes into six. The Hanged Man, which is 12, but two plus one equals three. 
um, double card is 15. 5 plus 1 equals 6. So we're getting all 3s and 6s. So 3s are about growth, achievement, communication. Uh, multiple 3s are a delay in success. 6s are about growth, problem solving, cooperation, balance, harmony, love. And many 6s are an adjustment of attitude. You're unable to manifest things at this time. There's a lack of growth here. You need to gain a new perspective. Around you, there's some very, very, there's a lot of lies and deceit around you. I'm seeing karma coming back to kind of bite you in the butt. Um, yeah, karma is definitely coming back to bite you in the butt. I, I'm seeing affairs. I'm seeing adultery. I'm seeing uh, a lot of change. There's a lot of change here. A lot of movement. A lot of sadness. A lot of depression. A lot of codependency, um, a lot of spying, malicious gossip, a lot of malicious gossip around you. It's not a good time at all. So let's go on to your money. So what's going on with Sagittarius's money, uh, June 15th through the 31st of 2018? All right, so I have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. There's confusion, chaos. There's a lack of clarity here. Again, we have that air energy that wins a change. We have the Two of Pentacles. You're juggling finances, uh, weighing out pros and cons, deciding between two different plans of action, which goes back to this first card, this indecision that we got in the beginning. What else is going on with Sagittarius's money? All right, I have the Empress. So this is the domestic goddess, abundance. So I do see that you do have abundance here. This is an incubation period. Uh, the Empress is pregnant. So this is money incubating like a pregnancy um, maturing within the womb All right, what's going on with Sagittarius's work career and life purpose All right so I have the five of cups so with the five of cups we have um, sadness lost regret focused on the past being regretful that's the card of Scorpio. What else is going on with Sagittarius's work, career, and life purpose? Okay, so I have the Knight of Cups. So this is uh, dressing nice, um, being very charming, the knight in shining armor, gallant, proposals, offers, gut feelings, fairy tale, developing your psychic abilities, uh, moving on seeing how you could be of an assistance and that's moving on towards the future so there was there's some financial loss here but you didn't lose at all you still had some but you're very regretful and this is moving on from that financial loss into the the future and um, you have many different offers and proposals in terms of work career and life purpose and then we have the ace of wands so we're back in your energy we're back in fire energy and this is potential actions creativity inspiration motivation beginning of physical action a new lease on life explosive potential uh, you feel inspired and full of energy uh, this is potential growth travel energy ambition 
Okay, what is the final outcome? Three cards for the final outcome for Sagittarius, please. Right. Uh, so the final outcome is the Seven of Pentacles in the upright. So hard work is paying off. All goes well in the end. There's a reevaluation, a reassessment of your life. You're building a nest egg here. Um, you're financially solid. The future is promising. You're saving up and um, your relationships are going good. This is Taurus energy. So it's patient. It's steady. It's steadfast. It doesn't take risks. Um, it's habit and routine oriented. It's very supportive, perfectionist. Um, energy it hates change it's very solid um, there could be a narcissist in your midst with the Emperor reversed uh, there's irresponsibility here there's a sense of entitlement there's a lack of skills not being cut out for the job that you're going after there's rejection uh, narcissism anarchy an enemy there's an enemy here and that's the card of Aries. I have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, so there's debt here. It's also Taurus energy. And then I have Death Reverse, there's obsession. There's um, a refusal to accept change. A refusal to move on their stagnation this is Scorpio energy someone from the past resurface coming out of a time of mourning is there any other advice for Sagittarius any other advice for Sagittarius Okay, your first chakra, which is your root chakra, which is your stability, your grounding, your connection to the earth, your feeling stable and supported is off. Um, so you need to eat red foods. You need to wear red clothes. Um, you're not stable and grounded currently. You're traveling too much. You're moving too much. And you, you don't have that sense of stability. Anything else going on that uh, I can warn Sagittarius about? Right, there's the angel of love. So there could be someone that you love. There's deep love. There's self-love. There's love of a child. There could be a pregnancy there. And there's also envy. So... Either someone's envious of you or you're envious of somebody else. But once you work on your first chakra, you should be better. Uh, working on your stability and grounding. And the future is fluid, so if you don't like the outcome, if you don't like anything in the reading, you can change it. That's why you get a tarot reading. Um, but that's what the cards say. Thank you so much for joining me today, Sagittarius. Um, if, if you would uh, please consider subscribing to my channel, I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings. And also, uh, I uh, do meditation and affirmation videos. So uh, if you like this, please like. If you'd like to comment, I do like feedback. Also, um, I do offer private readings in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me today, Sagittarius. Have a wonderful day.